What's going on? I'm the Goods on YouTube. TG so good everywhere else. This is going to be a tutorial that's not for beginners at all. So if you're beginning to modding, you're probably not going to understand this. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace jerseys with uh, other clothing files. So in this video, I'm just going to go over replacing the tops and hopefully you'll understand how it works for the bottoms also. All right, so first things first. You're going to need a file so like all these files are jersey files you can see female jersey not female jersey nike female shorts blah 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 till we get to the file that we're going to work on today jersey underscore nike underscore u dot if so this is a u collar jersey it's the nike style jersey that the nba uses now and i'll show you let me see pull up a new show you what this jersey nike u looks like chicago bulls jersey so um i don't know why it's showing me all this extra stuff but anyway this is what the jersey is going to look like this right here uh just gonna look like this with the U collar that's what the jersey file in game we're gonna replace that type of jersey with a short sleeve compression shirt and in the game you can see I tried to do it already but I used the wrong short sleeve file so anyway so we need this we need this if file and then in 7-zip you go inside of that if file and I cleared everything out now I also need the other thing that I need let me minimize this is I need the compression shirt file which I'll show you right here it's called clothing underscore resource underscore mail underscore compression shirt underscore full underscore ss underscore geo dot if now how do you get that out of the game well in 2k22 you would do it this way I'll show you you would Go into the game, press F8, um, come up here to where it says mod, file manager, make sure it's on file export. And you can see I already have a file in here for a regular t shirts short sleeve shirts. I already use that. But if I wanted this compression shirt, I will put this in here. And then I would click export and it. Um, Oh, it's saying that file doesn't exist. That doesn't make sense. Well, anyway, it's saying that file does not exist. Let's see if it does. It's a good thing I ran into that issue. Okay, so that file doesn't exist. So what I'm going to do, it existed before. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Notepad++. And I have the manifest for NBA 2K22 up. Now I need to find where their compression shirts is so I'm doing a search go. here it is it's right here oh okay I see I need to actually have the full address all right so go back in the game put it like that clothing slash full when you see something before the slash mark that's a folder clothing slash full slash this okay click export that's how I would get it and then it would be in my game directory under my exports folder and I'll show you where that is uh, let me go to my 2k22 files and then it makes a folder called exports it will be under clothing and full folders so clothing full and then it's somewhere in here resource mail compression shirt full there it is all right, so I don't I don't need it in that screen, but let me press F8, get out of here. Anyway, so I need to find it using 7-Zip. So I have one 7-Zip window with my jersey Nike U.if. Go inside, clear everything out. And then I'll have another window with my uh, clothing resource mail uh, compression shirt full short sleeve GL if 
All right, so here's the meat and potatoes of it. What you have to do is copy all the model files over. Click yes. And then you will need the scene file and selection set file. And we have to copy those over two times. And we're going to rename them both times. So let me see. I got to find out what we rename them. Jersey Mail Average. Okay. So let me go back in this. Okay, this is the file we were inside of. So I'm going to bring the scene file over. Click yes. It's over here, the dot scene file, but I need to rename it. So I'm going to take everything out but the dot scene, and then I'm going to say Jersey underscore mail underscore average, I believe. That's what it should say. Then bring the selection set over and rename that the same way. I hope you guys can really hear my volume. Jersey underscore mail underscore average. Let me just copy and paste that portion. So I believe these will work. All right, so I'm going to bring both of these over again. All right, so this, I'm going to rename it. This time, I'm going to put the word static and then paste in the rest. So static jersey, male, average selection sets. And I need to rename this scene file. Static jersey, male, average scene. Then let me just double check to make sure that was right. Jersey mail average, static jersey mail average. Okay. So we've got the jersey mail average scene and selection set. And then down here we've got scene and selection set plus all the models from the, com the full compression shirt short sleeve. So let's see if it works. First, we got to get off of this jersey. Okay. Now when I go back, oh, it didn't work. Okay, let's do it this way. Let's go off of the bulls and come back. Okay, so now it has worked. I went off the bulls that allowed the, the model to refresh. And as you can see, it works. Let me find, uh, let me see. Let me find one of these files that uses a compression shirt. Okay, here's a Captain America one. All right, so I'm gonna make the Bulls jersey. I'm gonna use 2K tools to make the Bulls home jersey, Chicago Bulls. I'm going to turn it into a file that I already have. And let's see what happens. Ah, worked. Worked to perfection. Great. So now I've replaced the Nike U neck jerseys with a compression shirt. Looks good. And I'll show you. I had also did it to the Jersey Nike V collared shirts let's look at the 76ers as you can see he has on a plain white t-shirt so the v-neck jerseys turn into t-shirts and the u-neck nike jerseys well the v-neck nike jerseys turn into t-shirts the v-neck um i mean the u-neck nike jerseys like the bulls wear turns into a compression shirt model all right so that's how i did that that's how i replaced this jersey 3d model and then when i i just went in i had some old uh old jerseys already prepared for this and i pasted them into 2k22 tools this this has been a little more advanced and uh, hopefully everybody who knows how to work this stuff was able to keep up. Maybe one day I'll do a more introductory uh, tutorial for this. But for now, this works perfectly fine for me. 
and I'm out.